Since I was little, I wanted to be a part of a team. Come here, buddy. Nice shot. I've played just about every sport there is growing up. My mom's been there for me through every season. We'll get him next time. Mostly to keep me fueled and cheer me on. Thanks, Mom. Love you. Love you, too. It took me a minute, but I finally found what I love. All thanks to her. You're always there for them, and we're always here for you. Food Lion, here for every moment. My boy. What you doing? I'm locking in my prize picks. I just pick more or less on player stats. If I get them right, I win B. Yeah, like what? I got you. Oh, a black genie. If you pick two right, <laughs> you win 3x. Pick four right, you win 10x. And if you pick six right, you win 25x you can. That don't get no better than this. Oh, but it does. Because right now, Prize Picks is matching your first deposit up to $100. Prize Picks, daily fantasy made easy. Welcome to the KFC Young Center. We are one week from opening night of the college basketball season and University of Louisville with one more exhibition game. The Cards hosting Kentucky Wesleyan on Halloween Eve. <laughs> the Halloween costumes are here. Kit Taylor and Jody Devlin courtside. And as the starting lineups are uh, finishing up here, we see the Cards coaching staff and Kenny Payne hoping to improve on exhibition number one. Last week, uh, 12 days ago, against Simmons College. And as we see some of the numbers from that Simmons College exhibition, Jody, uh, the freshman impressed. The freshman did impress in that game. You see the numbers there. Curtis Williams, a great game. Dennis Evans, we'll talk about him a lot. But I'm excited tonight to see, as the, we saw the banana costume, as Coach Payne's going to peel a little layer back off this team. We're actually going to see a real starting lineup. I'm excited to see what their best players can do together on the floor for the first time. We're going to find out if this team has any appeal for this season <laughs> moving forward. And as you mentioned, in that Simmons game, we didn't see the lineups we thought would be the five best players. And I think we're going to see that from the start tonight, from the opening jump. The cards uh, will go with a couple of newcomers, a couple of returnees. We'll run all that down. It is Dennis Evans set to jump it up right now against Ferris Remouche for Kentucky Wesley in the Division II school from Owensboro, Kentucky. Winners of eight Division II national championships and Evans wins the tip. Sky Clark and Trey White, I believe, are the two best players on this Louisville team. Transfer Sky Clark from Illinois, Trey White from USC. This is the first time we're seeing him together on the floor. In the starting lineup with Dennis Evans, J.J. Trainer, and Mike James. Trainer and James, the two returnees, a freshman and two transfers, and over. Borja Fernandez goes trainer, but Evans gets the offensive rebound, can't get it, but he gets fouled, and he'll go to the line and have a chance to shoot some free throws. And we saw a little bit of it. He got a taste. He, he was one of the guys who was impressive in that first game, Jody, and we saw he can shoot some free throws. Shot 74% from the line in high school. Yeah, nine points and nine rebounds and block shots in that exhibition game against Simmons. Uh, and you see, again, the 7-7 seven, seven wing span, but he does have a nine. And that's not a bad shot. I actually saw him in warm-ups. I don't think Coach Payne wants him shooting a three, but I actually saw him shoot a three he and it shot went 33 in 33 percent yeah in it wasn't school. it wasn't bad looking for him but uh this he's going to be a problem for the, this kentucky wesleyan team coach drew cooper telling me that he went with his tallest starting lineup that he could possibly go with tonight ferris remouche the six foot ten center from algeria in there tonight as they try to combat the size for louisville here's their starting lineup dom sabota kv on mitchell Ivan peterson borja fernandez and ferris remouche there's one block for Evans, who, by the way, had four dunks. Fernandez, another block, but that's a gold 10 as Fernandez got the offensive rebound of the basket. Yeah, Borja Fernandez, 22 in their uh, exhibition game uh, uh, against St. Louis last week. Fernandez, a Montana State transfer from a couple years ago, uh, was uh, one of the, was on the all freshman, the big sky all freshman team, so he can play a little. Please look at that UofL starting lineup again. The three newcomers to go with the two of the returnees. and. For a lot of these fans, it's their first chance to see some of these guys. Maybe they didn't make it out to the red-white scrimmage. We see Trey White getting the paint, and he misses. Can't get the offensive rebound, and Sabota gets the rebound. We're going to see a lot of that Trey White, I think, taking the ball to the basket. His mid-range game is really good. Let's go. Missing the lane for the Panthers, and here come the cards. Uh, no turnovers early, which is something we saw in that Simmons game. So that's good. As Guy Clark gets to the basket, but can't finish. Fernandez with the rebound. 
Yeah, pretty good defense there by Sabota early on. And uh, once Clark got around him, I think he kind of thought he wasn't as really right there. He was point blank with nobody there on the rim. Fernandez wants to take Trainer, and he gets him into the lane and misses the basket. And then the offensive rebound by Ramouche. And then the block, block number two early on for Dennis Evans. That's what Dennis Evans can do. He makes a mistake on the defensive end, but makes up for it with the block as Mike James goes hard to the basket, and he's going to be fouled. I think they're going to call it on Peterson. We'll watch a replay. Again, Kent, he makes a mistake. He doesn't block out. Watch this as he doesn't block out, but then he makes the, makes the block instead. So Dennis Evans getting it done. The second foul on Peterson. This for, uh, as Mike James makes that one, this for Kentucky Wesleyan. Three different guys in the starting lineup tonight that were in the St. Louis game. As we see a couple subs coming in, Alex Gray, who did start in that game, and Kennedy Miles, who did not play in that game. Kennedy Miles was out for that game, is really their leading guy as far as statistical all around uh, uh, coming back as uh, uh, he played about 20 minutes a game last year. James hits them both to give Louisville a lead at 3-2 in the early going. Gray number one, former Owensboro Apollo player. Ramouche to Miles. Three missed by Mitchell. It'll be the Cards ball, and Clark's holding his shoulder a little bit. I think yeah, he got okay. hit there pretty good, but uh, good block out there from Sky Clark. The only thing that was going to happen was either we're going to get an over the back call or it was going to be their ball out of bounds. So a good job, Louisville, right now, uh, four to uh, four, four on the uh, on the on the boards. But good job on the defensive end. How many players do you expect we'll see from Kenny Payne tonight? And are you surprised at all that Brandon Huntley Hatfield wasn't in that starting lineup? Uh, yeah, I'm a little bit, but we've seen that uh, that uh, JJ Trainers played well as. Uh, Trey White misses a shot there, and the rebound comes down to Mitchell. I think we'll see uh, all of the players by the end of the night, but I think a good rotation of guys is uh, is about eight, I believe, is what we will see. White, a little pull-up jumper in the lane. Won't go, and Gray gets the rebound for the Panthers, and not a lot of scoring here in the early going. Louisville leading Kentucky Wesley in 3-2. This Panthers team picked to finish eighth in the great Midwest Athletic Conference in Division Two, Borja Fernandez off the dribble, gets to the basket, and I'm not sure who blocked that. Was it Trainer or Evans? I'm not sure. He's the either one. Got either a piece one of got it. a piece of it. Sky Clark, all he had to do was lob that up, and I think Dennis might have finished it. Yeah, I think he got caught a little indecision there from Sky Clark, but again, Louisville getting what they want on the offensive end, just nothing going down for him right now. 0 for 5 to start out. Clark posts up gray and then has the shot rattle out. And getting good looks. That wasn't a great shot, but that time in the shot clock, not bad at all. Louisville getting good looks. They just can't make a bucket. Make any baskets. 0 for 6 from the field right now, Louisville. Ramouche has his shot denied by J.J. Trainer. We're going to get... J.J. Trainer to get that out of here. A couple substitutions here with... Just a couple seconds left to play in this first segment of the game. Tyler Johnson in, as well as Caleb Glenn, the freshman who played at Mayo High School. That one goes off of Mike James. He's saying it went over the backboard in the ref. I think Jamie Lucky might clear this up. Our officials tonight, by the way, Jamie Lucky, Adam Flory, and Kellen Milliner. And Jamie Lucky is pointing out right now. Yeah, and I think you're they right. They did, in fact, go over the back of the backboard, and it'll yeah. be Louisville basketball. It was before the actual uh, uh, Mike James even touched the ball there. That ball just kind of goes up and hits the back uh, of side of the backboard. I don't think Coach Cooper liked that, but uh, that was the call. Tyler Johnson, Mike James, Caleb Glenn, Trey White, and Brandon Huntley Hatfield on the court right now for the cards. And we're going to get a quick foul by Huntley Anfield on the screen, and we played a segment without the Cards scoring a field goal, but they lead it 3-2 over Kentucky Wesleyan early. At Jersey Mike's, they slice your sub right in front of you. All that meat and cheese just for me. Watching that takes me to my happy place. Oh, wait. Jersey Mike's is my happy place. Kelly, did I place an order here in my happy place? Not yet, Danny. 
and I'm going back to reality. Number seven for Danny. Oh, thanks, reality, Kelly. Sliced right in front of you. It's a Jersey Mike's thing. A sub above. With Boost Infinite, get iPhone 15 Pro with titanium and save up to 40% on your monthly bill. Transcend to a wireless utopia and experience America's smart network with unparalleled coverage from three of the nation's top wireless networks. No trade-in needed to get iPhone 15 Pro with titanium on us. Save up to 40% on your monthly bill and enjoy the latest iPhone every year with unlimited wireless. With an early 3-2 lead on Kentucky Wesleyan, the two teams combined one for 16 from the field, and that one basket was on a goaltend. As we take a look at the two head coaches real quick, I did Kent Taylor with Jody Demling, Drew Cooper from here in Louisville, a St. X grad, and of course Kenny Payne, the former U of L star, trying to bring this program back to prominence. Yeah, the two coaches there, and again, just one field goal. We haven't had a ball go through the basket yet on a field goal attempt. And by the way, that goal 10 way back when it seems like yesterday already, the first goal of the game, the one by Fernandez, they did review it at the first media timeout. Jamie Lucky telling us that's a new rule this year. They did review the goal 10 and it was on its way down. So that basket counts. Miles Edward Jones Jr. Gray Fernandez and Alexa Rockic in the game. Fernandez tries to take Trey White inside, and there we have a ball go through the basket for the first time at the 15-33 mark, and it gives Kentucky Wesleyan a 4-3 lead. Louisville 0 for 6 from the field so far in this game. Tyler Johnson, Trey White, Caleb Glenn, Brandon Hunley, Hatfield, and we're getting our first look tonight, Jody, at Curtis Williams, who may have been the most impressive freshman uh, right up there with Dennis Evans in that first exhibition. No, I think he, he definitely has been the most impressive guy as we see it right there, and he's thought he was going to get Louisville's first basket of the night. A good look there from Curtis Williams. He does a little bit of everything. Curtis Williams is just that kind of player that Kenny Payne wants who can uh, play the one, the two, the three, or the four. And uh, he's going to be he's going to be special here at Louisville. I will say, if you're looking for positives, and it's they, they do, you'll, you'll have with only one turnover so far in the game. Uh, Looked like Fernandez might have walked there. Tyler Johnson with a steal. And the lob to Trey White for the first basket at 14:38. It wasn't pretty, but uh, Trey White tips it in as Tyler gives him the gives him the bucket. Tyler Johnson, I like the I like the way he runs is running this team. He's getting it and going. Huntley Hatfield the steal. Here comes Caleb Glenn all the way to the basket. Takes the hit, no foul, out of bounds, and it will be Kentucky Wesleyan ball. Let's take a look at that lob from Johnson running the floor and the cards getting their first basket of the night. Yep, the alley tip. He couldn't actually get <laughs> to the basket, but uh, nice job there from uh, from Trey White of making sure it goes in. And then Caleb Glenn just on the uh, uh, Caleb Glenn on the other end of the floor gets body. He's got to learn. That's the difference in high school and in college. He's got to finish through contact. Caleb Glenn will get that as he goes and gets more experience. Kennedy Miles guarded closely by Johnson, and Johnson will get the foul. Yeah, I, I kind of said it tongue in cheek, but the one turnover is an improvement. Lat in the first exhibition game, Louisville with 12 turnovers in the first 12 minutes of that game against Simmons, and a lot of it was just pass from one guy to the other, unforced errors. So that that is definitely an improvement at this point. They're getting good shots, they're just not hitting them just yet. Rockage comes up with that one on the baseline, guarded by Trey White, and then throws it over the U of L bench and. I'm not sure any other coach in the country could have caught that, but Danny Manning. <laughs> <laughs> that is that is true. I'm trying to look and see. Dennis Evans is uh, down in the kind of in the runway between the, uh, the the bench and the locker room. Looks like he's working with the trainers and, and doing something. So we'll uh, we'll check on that and see. Uh, I didn't see anything from Dennis. Johnson's three rattles out. Kentucky Wesleyan with three turnovers in their last three possessions, and Caleb Glenn. He just plays hard. He hustles when he's at that. That was a. Uh, not a bad foul, just trying to get the ball. Mike James comes in the game. Trey White will head to the U of L bench, and it looks like Evans may be stretching something. He's got some sort of an exercise ball back there that he's working with. And we'll get uh, Jake Evans for the first time here uh, for uh, Wesleyan, a local kid from uh, Mail High School, a transfer from Northern Kentucky. He has the ball there. Played three seasons at. No I tell you what, whoever's bringing the ball up, Tyler Johnson's giving him some issues. Logan McIntyre, number 33 in the game as well. Gray to Rockich. And 
And Louisville playing really solid defense right now. A nice cut, and then a Glenn, that's going to be foul number two on Glenn. And it's going to send Edward Jones Jr. to the line. Is a nice cut and find from Jake Evans. Yeah, it was. And a good job of recovering from Caleb Glenn there and just a little late to slap the hand and not get the block shot. If that's J.J. Trainer, well, obviously, if it's Dennis Evans, anything's a block. But if that's J.J. Trainer in there at that point and Trainer's going to come in for Glenn, I think and that is a block. Dennis Evans is headed to the scorer's table as well, which is a good sign. Even when he kneels down, they still can't see over him at the scorer's table. Back into the cards, number 11, Dennis Evans, number 12, J.J. Trainer. Trainer and Evans back in, Huntley Hatfield and Caleb Glenn with his two fouls to the bench. Edward Jones, Jr., 6'5", Jr. from Indianapolis, Indiana. Pike High School, not, Pike's produced quite a few NBA players, Jody. You know, yeah, all, the, all the Teagues, Courtney Lee as well. He's played 47 games over the last two seasons for uh, uh, for Wesley and, and uh, their leading returning scorer of one point uh, below uh, is a seven point two points one point below Fernandez. Six five in the early going Louisville one for ten from the field. Johnson to trainer. Johnson's making some things happen out there but can't get that one to roll in. Tire dials up the triple for the Panthers, and it is nine to five. Kentucky Wesleyan. McIntyre not far from being a local. North Harrison High School in uh, Southern Indiana, transfer from Evansville, is they're going to get an offensive foul on Dennis Evans. A couple of offensive fouls for Louisville. There you see the shot there from. Uh, McIntyre, the transfer from Evansville, shot 39% from three-point range in high school. Arizona State. State. 22 points a game in North Harrison High School. 13 to 6, the rebounding edge right now. A telling stat, Jody, for the Kentucky Wesleyan Panthers. The problem with a team like this is you let them stay in the game. The longer they stay in it, the more confidence they get. Jake Evans going to drive and think twice before trying to shoot over Evans, and then McIntyre doesn't hit anything. Here comes Scott Clark pushing it up. The long pass that Mike Evans can't get to, and there's turnover number two for the Cards. Kentucky Wesleyan leading Louisville in the early going, 9-5. Jersey Mike's, they freshly grill your hot subs right in front of you. You can't get that smell anywhere else unless you have one of these. Don't mind me. Take the sizzle to go. Grill right in front of you. It's a Jersey Mike's thing. With Boost Infinite, get iPhone 15 Pro with titanium and save up to 40% on your monthly bill. Transcend to a wireless utopia and experience America's smart network with unparalleled coverage from three of the nation's top wireless networks. No trade-in needed to get iPhone 15 Pro with titanium on us. Save up to 40% on your monthly bill and enjoy the latest iPhone every year with unlimited wireless. The future you build for the ones you love starts with the choices you make. Today, the time is now to act on your love. Connect with an agent who can help you reach your financial goals. Kentucky Wesleyan with an early 9-5 lead here. Drew Cooper's bunch. They've held Louisville to one for 11 shooting. The school in Owensboro, Kentucky, just 116 miles southwest of Louisville. Founded in 1858, an enrollment of 780. We mentioned the Great Midwest Athletic Conference. And look at that first men's basketball season, 1906. Eight-time national champ and a five-time national runner-up. So 13 trips to the national championship game in Division II. And it goes all the way back to the very first one when they lost the title game. But all kinds of titles, all kinds of tradition at Kentucky Wesleyan. And Drew Cooper just getting started building on that tradition after spending some time at Thomas More College and some time as an assistant and 2011 national champion assistant coach at Bellarmine University here in Louisville. J.J. Trainer, the steal to the basket, has that blocked by Edward Jones, Jr. And that long pass goes out of bounds off a photographer. 
Edward Jones Jr. as you uh, see that block there. <laughs> wow. Uh, I was talking to Drew Cooper. He said he is probably the most athletic guy. He is the most athletic guy on the floor uh, for Kentucky Wesley, and there's no probably about it. That was a nice block. And then he almost got the lob at the other end just off of his fingertips uh, out of bounds. But right now, Kentucky Wesleyan 13-7 uh, to 7 on the boards. So the 1-for-12 is one thing for Louisville, but getting out rebounded uh, is, uh, is another thing, and they can't get out rebounded. Bad by turnover team. for the guards. Turnover number three for them in the early going. Curtis Williams to the bench. Trey White checks in. Scott Clark, Trey White, Mike James, J.J. Trainer, and Dennis Evans on the court right now for Louisville. Jake Evans, the former male high point guard, guarded by Sky Clark. KV on Mitchell. McIntyre. McIntyre. And then Ramouche thinks he was fouled, but I don't know if Trainer got a piece of that or not. Trey White all the way down. Out to James for the triple try, and it rolls all the way around the rim. The cards one for 12 from the field. The scoring drought now nearing four minutes for them. McIntyre step back, three won't go. And a rebound for Sky Clark. I like how Sky Clark getting in there, mixing it up, and getting some rebounds. Now Louisville just got to get something going on the Clark offensive end. Open triple, and he finally hits it. The first three of the game, and now. Two for 14 from the field and one for five from three. But Ken, that's so I mean, we were talking to, during that last break. Louisville's playing better in this this exhibition right now than they did early against Simmons. They haven't made any shots, but they're doing other things better, and especially on the defensive end. And, and that's why they're only down by a point right now, even though they're two for 14 from the field. Well, they, and again, they're doing better on the defensive end. And no disrespect to Simmons, but this is a better team than Simmons. Clark looking for a number of triple, and, and coming up in the next dead ball here, we're going to get it. our first look at uh, Donalo Jovanovic, the transfer from Miami who did not play, was in concussion protocol. We'll get a look at him when we return here to the KFC Yum Center. Thanks so much for inviting me in. Come take a seat. Hey, what if getting insurance is scary? What if the jargon makes me feel alone and in the dark? At State Farm, we're there for your what ifs. Great. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Call or click to get a quote today. Center one week before opening night of the college basketball season and one final exhibition game for the University of Louisville. And so far, Kentucky Wesleyan leads at 9-8 in the early going. Louisville two for 15 from the field, one for six from three, three turnovers. But they have held Kentucky Wesleyan to three for 17 shooting in the early going. So not exactly pretty all around. And all only for Louisville right now, just three turnovers. One of those was an offensive foul. So that's better than the 12 in the first uh, 10, 12 minutes of, uh, of the last exhibition game. And we're getting our first look, Jody, at number 13, Donalo Jovanovic, who played just one game for Miami last year, but he gets the deflection right after coming in the game. Sky Clark pushes it all the way to the basket, has it knocked away, and I'm not so sure that Kennedy Miles didn't knock that off of Sky Clark, but the official was on the other side, so the cards will maintain possession here. I'm excited. With I'm excited to see Jovanovic. He's a guy who the Miami staff was excited about last year. He got hurt early in the season, and they decided to redshirt him, and then he decided to go in the portal. can do a little bit of everything, kind of an old-school type of player. Didn't play, but importantly said that he got the experience of going through that Final Four run with the Hurricanes last year. It's Clark gets in the basket and does everything but make it. Mike James runs it down. <laughs> I don't I'm, think he had to. I'm not sure he. I don't, I'm not sure he. Uh, I don't think he had was. to make that as hard as he made it. Trey White's jumper, no good. Trey White now one for five. White and Clark are combined two for ten. Both of them one for five tonight. They just having a hard time finding the getting the basket to go down. 
Nevon, Nevon Peterson back in the game for the Panthers. He picked up those two early fouls. Miles gets the pick from Ramush and then he tries to get it back to Ramush, but it was a rocket pass right off him out of bounds and another turnover for the Panthers. Yeah, not a, a great idea, but just not a great pass there from Miles, who is playing his first game of the year. He sat out against uh, against St. Louis. Both teams with quite a bit to work on in the final week of uh, uh, preseason yeah, so far, practice. So far, it definitely is. White with the miss, and he'll go. He'll get two free throws. Kavion Mitchell gets the foul there. Whoa, whoa. All right, Jody, Trey White is the the most people consider him to be the best player on this team. Why is that? What do you like about him? I, I mean, I think it's first of all when he was at USC last year, saw a lot of those different games. Uh, throughout the uh, the season he started 29 of 33 games was on the all pack 12 team He was at times one of their best players one of their kind of go-to guys He seems like he plays bigger than what he is when you see him He doesn't seem like he's six seven because he's got kind of a thin frame But he plays bigger than what he than what he is and just does a little bit of every I, I love him I really do Scott Clark with the steal and the dunk to get this crowd into it just a little bit for the first time tonight as the cards have extended that lead to 12-9. Sky Clark is doing a good job on both ends of the floor right now. And I know they haven't made shots. Louisville's getting good shots. They just haven't been making them. Cards come over the rebound to push up to Trey White. This might be a dunk. Two. Oh! That may be the third foul already on Peterson. This is third in the early going. Cards showing some life here. They lead the Panthers 12-9. Thanks so much for inviting me in. Come take a seat. At Jersey Mike's, they slice your sub right in front of you. Watching that always takes me to my happy place. Wait a minute. Jersey Mike's is my happy place. Slice right in front of you. It's a Jersey Mike's thing. On the banks of the Ohio in downtown Louisville, Kentucky, inside the KFC Yum Center, where Louisville leads Kentucky Wesleyan 12-9 after a little spurt there. Cards on a 7-0 run to take that lead. And Kentucky Wesleyan scoreless in the last five minutes and five seconds. The big fella, Dennis Evans, at the line for two free throws. He was fouled just before the break. This is the first free throw. Yeah, that foul was on Devon Peterson. It was his third personal foul already. Yeah, Peterson, 6'6", six, six, uh, transfer. Uh, one of the better guys on their team. Already three fouls. You see Dennis Evans, 7-1. For next Monday night when he plays in a game, the first official, the tallest, I guess it'll be official when it's an official game, the tallest player to ever suit up and play for the University of Louisville. First seven-footer since Anas Mahmoud who had 20 points, five rebounds, seven assist, seven block shots, and six steals the last time these two teams met in 2017 in an exhibition game. Look at you. Borja Fernandez, Jovanovic guarding him, and Fernandez is, has shown he, he, he will try to take a guy. The double comes, and then the deflection by Trey White. And, and Just again, over two seconds on the shot clock here, Joey. Louisville doing a really nice job on the defensive end, and no matter what rotation is in there, it's kind of started with Tyler Johnson and Sky Clark at the point being really, really aggressive. Just our two seconds, and the long three banks in for KV on Mitchell, and that is 
Goodness. It's not something you can really defend. He just kind of threw it. He really wasn't even in a shooting motion, kind of threw it up, and uh, that ball banks in. Second three of the half for the Panthers to get them back within one. This guy Clark misses, and only Hatfield can't get the offensive rebound, and here comes Jake Evans. Jovanovic, James Huntley, Hatfield, Trey White, and Sky Clark on the court for the cards. Fernandez with the jumper. Brandon Huntley Hatfield just doesn't go out and get him. There was a switch, and he just kind of lets his guy go and uh, left wide open. Sky Clark gets to the basket and scores in the lane. We'll see JJ Trainer and Tyler Johnson set to come in for the cards at the next dead ball. And both Clark and Johnson are applying some pressure. And they come up with a couple steals early. A little deflection. Ivanovich can't come up with it. James does. He's got Huntley Hatfield all by himself. And the big fella throws it down for a 17-14 cards lead. Yeah, Huntley Hatfield might be coming out because of the defensive laps, but right there gets uh, the run out dunk to put the cards, extend the lead to three. Holly Hatfield's that guy, Kent. He's the guy that's going to make a difference one way or the other in this team. It's going to be, it, it's going to be quite a bit of, uh, uh, of give or take. Or there's not going to be quite a big give or take. Where the way he plays is the way they kind of go. As we see the shot here, first from Mitchell, the bank, and yeah, the bank's open tonight on the banks of the Ohio, and then uh, Fernandez with the three. When Huntley just Hatfield. inside the line, yeah, just inside the line. Oh, just inside, yeah, that one's just inside the line when Huntley Hatfield um, uh, does not come out and get him. I mean, that's, again, I don't, we talked about this in the other sh exhibition. I mean, Huntley Hatfield is the guy for Louisville that has to play to his ability for them to be what they want to be and, and win the games Kenny Payne thinks they can. Drew Cooper trying to become the sixth Kentucky Wesleyan coach. Fernandez with foul on Trey White to win a national championship. Five different coaches for those eight national championships for the Panthers. Let's take a little look at that one. Trey White gets in the lane and finally gets a, a field goal to go. He had that one lob. That, it's that mid-range, that pull-up game. Trey White very good at that. and uh, Fouled and makes the free throw to convert the three-point play. So now Trey White with seven points tonight for the cards. Trey White and Scott Clark leading the cards with seven as they extended the lead out to 20 to 14. With a quick little 6-0 run here in the last minute or so. Fernandez guarded by Huntley Hatfield who did stay in the game. A little back cut. Tyler Johnson got beat on the back side and then fouled Jake Evans. Tyler Johnson has his second 16 Evans will go to the line with a chance to complete the three-point play here as we look at some of these impact transfers. Yeah, and you look at Jovanovic. He's in out there for the first time tonight. Just came out of the game. Trey White and Sky Clark, seven points apiece. You look at Trey White's numbers last year, nine points and 5.1 rebounds. He is going to be, both those guys are going to have to be double-digit scorers for Louisville. Evans can't complete the three-point play, and that was, by the way, foul number. We're going to get a jump ball here, and it'll be Kentucky Wesley in basketball. That foul at the other end on Tyler Johnson was his second of the half, and then... 2016, 441 to go. Not the prettiest half of basketball. Louisville now up to six for 22 from the field, and still just one for six from three, and being out-rebounded at this point, 19 to 13. Yeah, that's... That's the stat to me that is uh, that is kind of scary right there is the rebounding 19 to 13. They've closed the gap a little bit. We're down eight just a few minutes ago. Evans has the ball taken away by Huntley Hatfield. Tries to tip it up to Johnson, but Evans comes back with it. The long pass to Fernandez, and they're going to get the three is way short. And Curtis Williams with the rebound for the car. We haven't seen him do much. He got the one good look early. Oh, drives in trainer. We're gonna get a block underneath there on Gray, and trainer will go to the line for two with 404 left here in the first half of the cards. Up by four little seven of nine from the line. Which is the reason right now why they have a lead. And again, just four turnovers so far in the half. If you're looking for the bright spot, Joe. 
Yeah, and they, and, and they have shortened the rotation a little bit. We talked about eight or nine, and that's what we've seen. We have not seen, we've seen Caleb Glenn just for a couple of minutes. We've not seen uh, Karan Davis or Emmanuel Cor for or Hersey Miller. Those are guys, I think, again, the, the rotation's gonna shorten starting tonight, and then you move forward and try to see what you get. We've seen Jovanovic a little bit, not a ton, and uh, and again, Curtis Williams back out there now for his second stint. Trainer knocks down both free throws. Card started one for 13 from the field, and Johnson almost with another steal there. Five for nine since as we take a quick break. Louisville up 22 to 16 on the Panthers of Kentucky Wesley. First half, Louisville leading Kentucky Wesleyan 22 to 16 in the card's second exhibition game. Coming up at halftime, we're going to have Caleb Glenn and Curtis Williams going head to head in a game of chess. A little Kentucky Wesleyan staff breakdown and take a transfer portal deep dive with some U of L students from the set inside the studios here on campus. We'll do all that in just a few minutes at halftime. But right now, we have a couple minutes to close out this first half. Louisville with a 22-16 lead, guard six of 22 from the field, one of six from three. And if Borja Fernandez gets to the basket, and maybe the easiest two of the night so far for the Panthers as they are back within four. Tyler Johnson, Trey White, J.J. Trainer, Mike James, and Curtis Williams on the court right now for the cards, although Sky Clark set to check in. And Mike James with the turnover at the top of the key. And Back into the car, 55. Kentucky Wesleyan with uh, uh, the, the uh, good play here as Fernandez gets his eighth point. Fernandez, you might see 6'7", 230 pounds, fifth year guy from, he's originally from Spain, a transfer from Montana State. He lost 40 pounds in the offseason, played last year at 270-ish. Was up to about 275, 280. Is down to like 230, 235 now in the offseason. And he told us, Kent, like, you're just more active. He went home to Spain. He's more active and he ate the a little food's, bit better. The food's healthy. The food's healthy. And he's here, outside so. all the time. Yeah. Oh, rebound inside. Of, that's the kind of thing. You, how does that happen where Alex Gray gets inside, gets the offensive rebound? He's fouled. He's going to go to the line for two. First foul on it, J.J. Trainer. Seventh team foul on the cards here with 3.08 left in the first half, but Alex Gray will get two free throws for the Panthers. 6'3 senior from Owensboro, Apollo, and Friends University. Started three games last year. And when he played at Friends, Jody, by the way, in case you didn't know, he led NAIA in three-point field goal percentage and rebounds per game and was second in assists per game. Pretty impressive. Twenty-two twenty. Louisville up by just two here in this exhibition game against Division Two Kentucky Wesleyan College. For the first time we've got Skylar and Tyler, Tyler and Sky Clark on the floor together is Mike James. It's a corner three, but the two point guards out there together for the first time tonight, Kent. I, I have been impressed with their on the ball defense, both of them. Yes. Tyler Johnson has been 100% uh, engaged. Has here. been pretty good on the defensive end. He's got to uh, do a little bit more on the offensive end of getting some guys involved. He's only got one assist. He's got a steal. He's doing a much better job on the defensive end right now. Jake Evans can Borja Fernandez back out to Evans. His three rattles off, and then another offensive rebound. But we're going to get a foul on that play. I think it's going to be. Is it on Gray or is it on McIntyre? Foul's number one, Alex Gray. It is yes. on Alex Gray. That the cards the I believe Trey White. Yeah, Trey White had good position there on Gray. I think it's Guy Clark, maybe. Oh, maybe it is. Scott Clark, the 6'3 sophomore from Los Angeles, California. Jody, of course, at Illinois last year, he played 13 games, started 12 of them. He was a 70% free throw shooter for the Illini. He'll get a one and a bonus here, and he won't get the second one because he misses the first, and McIntyre with a rebound. The backdoor cut and the slam by Logan McIntyre. 
Freshman mistake there, Curtis Williams just get caught. As uh, Sky Clark uh, calls a 30 second timeout. We'll watch the replay here as uh, Sky Clark didn't look like he knew the time. He did. I think <laughs> I think Kenny Payne said it, but as uh, you see, Curtis Williams just gets lost. He kind of going over instead of coming under, and it's freshman mistake like that that will get you more time on the bench than what you have on the floor. And uh, he played much better against Simmons tonight. We haven't seen a ton from Curtis Williams yet. And again, that's two mistakes on the defensive end in seven minutes. Maybe Curtis was thinking about his next move on the chessboard because coming up at halftime, we're going to see him and Caleb Glenn go head to head at halftime. Pawns off the court. Caleb and Curtis, they've been playing chess all their lives, although I think it, maybe Caleb is a little rusty. <laughs> a little rusty in this matchup. <laughs> Louisville with a three-point lead and two minutes left here in the first half. Pretty sloppy basketball. Kentucky Wesley with an 11-2 advantage in bench scoring. Curtis Williams yet to score after 15 points in the first exhibition for the cards. Dennis Evans back on the court. Trey White. Dennis Evans has not taken a shot yet and not attempted a field goal. Trey White does on the baseline and he draws the foul from Edward Jones Jr. And he'll get two shots and a chance to extend this three point lead. Trey White can create. We were talking earlier about his mid range and that pull up. That's one from the baseline there that, uh, you know, quite honestly, Louisville didn't do a lot last year. Louisville did not have anyone on that team last year that was, that was, effective when they were trying to get mid-range, trying to go baseline, trying to get that pull-up jumpers, and that's the difference in this team. Not only is he more talented than some of the guys that they had, but he can do something different than what they could do last season. Knocks in the second free throw. Eight points in the first half so far for Trey White. Had two 20-point games last year as a freshman at USC. Fernandez looking for Miles, but Sky Clark denying him the ball. Miles swings around. White almost with a tip, and McIntyre's three misses. Evans goes high for the rebound. A minute and a half to play. Cards lead it by four. James to Williams, looking for that three, misses it. And Evans can't get his arm up to get that rebound. And then a deflection knocked there. away to yep. be Kentucky Wesley in ball. Again, Louisville getting good shots. Seven of 24 from the field. Dennis Evans checks out. Brandon Huntley Hatfield back in for the cards for this final minute of what has been a not the prettiest first half I've ever seen. A little 7 of 24 from the field. Getting out rebound at 22 16. Fernandez to Miles. Fernandez now guarded by White. He's got the whole half of the court to himself pretty much. And he's gonna he's gonna go to work, spin baseline, and then up and under and Borja Fernandez has got some offensive talent and a relatively easy basket for him to get the Panthers back within two. Sky Clark gets... Trey White has it knocked away, and Kentucky Wesleyan with a difference of about eight seconds in the game clock and the shot clock, so they will have to put one up right now. They trail by two and have a chance to go in the locker room with the lead here in the KFC Yum Center, and a three from the corner goes off the side of the backboard, but he gets the offensive rebound back out to Fernandez, to Miles, his three off the back of the rim. We'll see the cards can get a rebound. They cannot because Edward Jones Jr. with another rebound, and Fernandez underneath for the basket. And the Panthers have tied this up with four seconds to go. White has got to get a shot off quick. He pulls up, his jumper is no good, and the cards will go to the locker room, tied with Division II Kentucky Wesleyan at the break here at the KFC Yum Center. We're all knotted up at 26. At Jersey Mike's, they slice your sub right in front of you. All that meat and cheese just for me. Watching that takes me to my happy place. Oh, wait. Jersey Mike's is my happy place. Kelly, did I place an order here in my happy place? Not yet, Danny. Then I'm going back to reality. Number seven for Danny. Oh, thanks, reality, Kelly. 
sliced right in front of you. It's a Jersey Mike's thing. A sub above. With Boost Infinite, get iPhone 15 Pro with titanium and save up to 40% on your monthly bill. Transcend to a wireless utopia and experience America's smart network with unparalleled coverage from three of the nation's top wireless networks. No trade-in needed to get iPhone 15 Pro with titanium on us. Save up to 40% on your monthly bill and enjoy the latest iPhone every year with unlimited wireless. Let's both play chess nearby. Yo, I got new ability. I've been one of I played a lot. Uh, like growing up in middle school, I got this embarrassing picture. I'll, I'll show you, like, I seen the picture. Like, I got a chessboard in my head, like, growing up. I thought it used to be, like, like real nice at chess. I first started playing in uh, elementary school. I was on the chess team. Never really picked it up after elementary school. It's been a while. <laughs> <laughs> it's about to be quick. So much, uh, it's been very, very challenging. You know, I challenge them to understand, man. That joke been impossible. <laughs> I ain't never ran this hard in my life ever been a part some so intense in my life but i i just say i got used to it because we do it every day can't look you're so bad bro <laughs> it's been a while i ain't played since middle school that's your excuse you got to relearn it yeah <laughs> see that that was a good move bro like respect to that right. it was fun playing in the young for the first time there was a lot of emotions going on. It was exciting, like, you know, just like playing each other every day in practice, like, finally get to see what we can do together. <laughs> yes, sir, that's a wrap. <laughs> <laughs> Too easy. It's been a while. I don't even remember. You could just said I took my L like a man. I did take an L. No, fat L. <laughs> Show here in studio. My name's Riley Hemmer alongside Caleb Land talking ACC men's basketball. Now the transfer portal has been a huge topic of discussion across all sports, basketball being no exception. Yeah, so the ACC men's basketball has a lot of moving pieces. There are a lot of new players going to new teams for new opportunities. And just to name a few, we have J.J. Starling, the 6'4 combo guard, taking his talents to Syracuse from Notre Dame. Joseph Girard, the sharpshooter from Syracuse, leaving and heading to the Clemson Tigers. Matthew Cleveland making the decision to play for the Miami Hurricanes, coming from Florida State. And Jalen Withers leaving the cards to suit up for the Tar Heels and Hubert Davis. And Riley, keep an eye out for January 17th. That's a big matchup. The cards go down to Chapel Hill to take on those Tar Heels. Must watch basketball. Now, specifically for the cards, they've been looking to revamp their roster and took full advantage of the transfer portal to do so. Here's Tyler Bright for more. Thanks, Riley. Trey White is making the transition from USC to Louisville this season, bringing a competitive fire to the squad. Alongside fellow newcomer Sky Clark from Illinois, the two look to be key contributors, adding a new identity to the cards. Clark averaged seven points, four rebounds, and two assists for the Fighting Illini, including a career-high 19 points against Lindenwood. Clark, wearing number 55, contributes his jersey choice to NBA player Jason Williams, who played point guard just like Clark. White, for the USC Trojans, averaged nine points, one assist, and five rebounds last season, and was named to Pac-12 All-Freshman team. Clark and White both look to make an impact on and off the floor for this Louisville Cardinals team, under second-year head coach Kenny Payne. Now, back to Caleb and Riley. Thank you, Tyler. White and Clark have been very impressive in their first few outings for the Cards this season, with White dropping 12 points and grabbing four boards, and Clark leading the team in assists with six assists while also scoring eight points. How do you feel like the recruiting class is going to mesh with the pickups they've had from the transfer portal? Given Kenny Payne and the strong recruiter he is, it's no surprise to anybody that they have the top six recruiting class that they do. And then add on top of that a top 30 transfer portal class, they have the pieces. They just need to go out there and execute and win basketball games. Absolutely. Now we're going to switch gears to Kentucky Wesleyan. This will be the first time they're playing the cards in 40 years, making it their 70th matchup of all time. They've added a few new faces to their program as well. Here's Rose Rodriguez for more. Thank you, Riley. 
Kentucky Wesleyan is undergoing a significant change this season, both on and off the court. The expansion of their staff includes two new assistant coaches, Joe Kropinski and Cardell McFarlane. Kropinski will be assisting the team with player development, game planning, as well as recruiting. McFarland has a special connection to Wesleyan, from being a player more than 10 years ago, to now working for his alma mater. Of the 16 current players on the roster, nine are new additions. Five are freshmen who are eager and ready to play for the Panthers. The numerous add-ons to this roster shows the strength of the transfer portal within college basketball. Back to you guys. Thank you, Rose. It'll be very exciting to see how these new faces for the Cards and the Panthers pan out this season. It will be. Thanks for joining us for today's halftime show. Once again, I'm Riley Hemmer alongside Caleb Land. We hope you enjoy the second half. October 30th, one week before opening night of the college basketball season, and Louisville and Kentucky Wesleyan have settled nothing so far. Tied at 26 at the half. Kent Taylor and Jody Devlin here courtside, and uh, Jody, not a bad defensive effort, I guess you could say, from Louisville, but offensively left a lot to be desired. Yeah, defensively for a, a good portion of that half, much better than what we saw at the Simmons, against Simmons College uh, about two weeks ago, but Louisville 7 of 25 from the field, and getting out rebound at 25 to 16. Kenny Payne cannot be happy about what he saw so many things that they've been working on so many things they've been trying to get better and still so many things for them to improve at the before the end of this game and then one week to the open season opening game just not a good first half two guys who did stand out I think you could say Trey White and Scott Clark but that's about it uh, Borja Fernandez with 12 points for Kentucky Wesleyan to see White there with eight points and four rebounds Clark started just one for 13 from the field did heat up a little, I guess you could say, going six for 11 there. And then you see Kentucky Wesley with seven assists on 10 and made field goals. And the turnovers, Louisville did cut down on the turnovers uh, with just six in the first half. That's an improvement from the last game. Yeah, Louisville and Kentucky Wesley near the last exhibition of the season four. The Cardinals here, last win versus Louisville, February 19th of 1958 in Owensboro. 83-69 for the Panthers. Cards, you mentioned the rebounding edge Kentucky Wesleyan has. Louisville with just one second chance point in the first half. And when a Division I school is playing a Division II school, that, that's generally the big difference is the guys inside. They have more size. Louisville with Dennis Evans at 7-1. Brandon Huntley Hatfield, who's out there now. Different, actually, than the starting lineup. We do have Huntley Hatfield out there for J.J. Trainer. So we have Sky Clark, Trey White, Mike James, Dennis Evans, and Brandon Huntley Hatfield. And we'll see if a little halftime speech from Kenny uh, Payne pays off here in the second half as the cards are ready to go. Yeah, Louisville from Huntley Hatfield in eight minutes. That one run out dunk and one steal from Trainer in 10 minutes. Two free throws, uh, not a single rebound from either one of those guys. So those are the two guys you got to get something out of. And instead, we're going to get a quick foul on Dennis Evans and another turnover for the Cards to start the second half. And that's the second offensive foul on Dennis Evans. He had one early in the first half. Actually, Louisville's first turnover was the offensive uh, was that offensive foul by Evans way back at the beginning of the first half. And his second foul in the game. Alex Gray right here. Borja Fernandez. Star of the first half here. Over to Logan McIntyre, who did hit a three in that first half. To Kennedy Miles. Keep an eye on Navon Peterson. Number four does have three personal fouls. Oh, air ball shot there from uh, Kennedy Miles. Good defense again uh, from uh, the Cardinals. As Sky Clark and Trey uh, Tyler Johnson, that we've seen them when they both been in there tonight doing a much better job as they're pushing the Wesleyan offense out a little bit. Now the problem is they've been getting beat on a couple back doors every now and then. James is fouled by McIntyre and Mike James will go to the line. Cards with 10 for 14 from the line in the first half. That might have been the, the bright spot of that half at 71.4 percent. Ken, in 7 of 25, look, Louisville was getting some good shots, but the one thing Louisville wasn't doing is they weren't getting, they were getting good shots, maybe could have gotten easier shots by just kind of moving around a little bit. I thought 
There was a lot of standing, at least at the end of the half. A lot of guys on offense just standing around. James hits the first free throw. Louisville up 27-26. The second one is good for Mike James, who now has eight points and four rebounds on the night. Sky Clark on Kennedy Miles. This is Edward Jones Jr. over to Gray. To Fernandez. He'll try the triple from the top of the key and miss it. And Evans gets the rebound for the cards. I like the idea from Mike James, just not a good pass, but good idea of getting the ball to the basket. Oh, and then a quick cut, and Evans slaps the backboard. Peterson missed that layup underneath. Huntley Hatfield trying to post up Gray, nobody get it to him. Clark instead drives, has the ball knocked out of his hand. It'll be Louisville ball on the baseline. 17 seconds on the shot clock. Louisville up 28 to 26. Huntley Hatfield's got to do a little bit better job of the post up there. He he had the he had it posted up. He's got to let Sky Clark know a little bit earlier that it's coming. Kentucky wrestling with 10 field goals, 10 turnovers in this game. Louisville seven field goals, eight turnovers. Not a stat you want. Huntley Hatfield still trying to post up. Great, great doing a pretty good job holding his position. And Clark will shoot the triple from the corner and. The second triple of the night for yeah, Sky Clark increases the lead of five. You got to give Greg credit there. He was battling down low, and uh, Clark could not get it to Huntley Hatfield, so he decided, oh, you know what? This time I got it back. I'm going to take a triple myself. Fernandez has his shot blocked by Evans, and the Cards are going to let that go to bounce, but Evans did deflect it, so it'll be Kentucky Wesleyan ball. Eight okay. seconds on the shot clock. Louisville with a five-point lead, and let's take a look at that last basket, Jody. And Huntley Hatfield is battling, but he still should be able to post up. 6-3 Alex Gray, but Sky Clark gets the three and hits it, and now Gray, he's got some physicality to him. He goes in and draws the foul, and he'll get two free throws. Yeah, and Mike James again just got caught kind of trailing a little bit there as gets his arm in there. Called for the foul. I know you you look at the score and you think 31-26. It's not it, and it's been. Look, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie. It's ugly offensively for Louisville. It's just been downright ugly the entire game. Um, but defensively, they have done a better job. This that's the thing. You've got to compare the two teams. Like this is a much better team than what they saw against Simmons College. So defensively, Louisville doing a decent job for much of this game. Uh, the question is how much better because Kentucky Wesley and again I know you know, preseason prognostications don't mean anything but picked finished eighth in their league in Division two as well as Kennedy Miles comes up with a steal Clark trying to get it into white throws it away and then Clark with a foul on miles actually they're gonna call it on Trey white I thought Clark got it, but it's Trey white his first foul third team foul on the cards here in the early going in the second half as they try to get some distance here. And just an unforced error by Sky Clark there again for Louisville. Turnover number nine. The backdoor cut, the foul by Trey White. Edward Jones Jr. will go to the line for two. He beat White on the back door. White slapped him on the arm. It's still at the fourth time they've been. Uh, Curtis Williams with one, Mike James with one, Trey White with two. And uh, I think Trainer with one. So the fifth time tonight that Louisville on that backdoor cut, it's either been an easy bucket or, or a couple of free throws. Jones rattles in the first. The athletic junior from Indianapolis, Indiana, Pike High School. An 81% free throw shooter last season. Started 20 games for the Panthers. Average seven points and four rebounds. He'll get a second chance here and a chance to get them within one with just over 17 minutes left to play. But he misses it and Evans gets the flat-footed rebound. Dennis Evans still with, without a field goal attempt. They've got to get the ball inside.
Evans with the offensive rebound. He's going to get the foul, draw the foul. They're going to give him two shots on that. No. That's his first, No, it's baseline. <laughs> no, they're giving him two shots. Jamie Luck called oh, the is. foul. Yes, he is. What? See, I don't know what I'm talking about sometimes. Drew Cooper, Drew Cooper, he's not putting up any fuss, man. I guess he agrees. He, had, he was standing on the base of the ball trying to pass it out, didn't he? I guess maybe it was a shot. All right. Two Evans. shots for Dennis Evans. Rattles in the first. Now three for five tonight. Five rebounds, three points, three block shots in 13 minutes. Again, still without a single field goal attempt. Now and Evans is going to come out. Butley Hatfield's going to come out with Trainer and uh, and Glenn coming back in. Caleb Glenn only played three minutes in that first half. Picked up two quick personal fouls. We'll see if he's able to affect the game. He he, he plays hard whenever he's out there. He's got the matchup right now on Fernandez. Seven on the shot clock for Wesleyan. Miles all the way to the basket and gets a layup. Defensive breakdown by the cards there, and Wesleyan's back within two. Louisville unable to get some distance here between themselves and the Division II Panthers. Starts now three for 11 on threes. Jones beats everybody down the court and then has a shot blocked by White. Mike James comes up with it. Good defensive recovery by the cards there by both Trainer and White. Clark all the way to the basket. Can't get it to go. Look at Caleb Glenn. And Louisville just cannot buy a bucket. Now eight for 29. Fernandez wants to take James. Gets in the lane and loses it. Clark comes up with it. That's going to be a foul on Fernandez. It'll be Louisville ball. Guards clinging to a two-point lead on Kentucky Wesley and the Panthers trying to pull off the upset. Jersey Mike's, they freshly grill your hot subs right in front of you. You can't get that smell anywhere else unless you have one of these. Don't mind me. Take the sizzle to go. Okay. Whoops. I'll pay for those. Here you go, Danny. Time to get these smells home. Grill right in front of you. It's a Jersey Mike's thing. A sub above. Ah, that's a good sizzle. With Boost Infinite, get iPhone 15 Pro with titanium and save up to 40% on your monthly bill. Transcend to a wireless utopia and experience America's smart network with unparalleled coverage from three of the nation's top wireless networks. No trade-in needed to get iPhone 15 Pro with titanium on us. Save up to 40% on your monthly bill and enjoy the latest iPhone every year with unlimited wireless. Fans ready to get excited here in the KFC Yum Center. You see Jim Griffin, Mike Griffin, Jolene Griffin, all the Griffins played in Kentucky Wesleyan. And right now the Panthers down just two points to Louisville. This is six years after their, six years to the day from their last exhibition game against the Cards, which was a 101-64 Louisville win. You mentioned Anas Mahmoud earlier with the seven blocks and 20 points in that game as you'd expect the big men for Division One team to dominate in a matchup like this, but that's the opposite of what we've seen here tonight. Brandon Huntley Hatfield. And a dunk inside on cue for J.J. Trainer. But Brandon Huntley Hatfield, Dennis Evans, just one shot combined tonight, and then Trainer gets in the lane and scores. Out of a timeout, impressive for the Cards. No, and a great job by Tyler Johnson of getting to the bucket and knowing where Trainer was and making the pass. And Trainer with a block on the defensive end, and Johnson comes up with it, and he gets it going fast down the court. This group has come out of that timeout inspired, and Mike James, oh, 
Could have gotten the crowd up with a three. McIntyre with a rebound, and that's going to be a foul on Trey White. That'll be his third personal, I believe, and the sixth foul already on the cards here in the second half. Let's take a look at that dunk. Tyler with a beautiful pass, Jody. And nice job there, Tyler. Easy for Trainer. This wasn't as easy, but good timing. Great block there, JJ Trainer. And then Tyler with the save there on the baseline. Able to stay uh, off that baseline, keep his foot up, and save that ball and get the cards going the other way. Right now, they lead it by just four points. Caleb Glenn, Curtis Williams, Tyler Johnson, Trey White, JJ Trainer. Glenn lost Logan McIntyre, and that's the second triple of the night for Logan McIntyre and Wesleyan back within one point. By the way, one other nugget on that game uh, seven years ago, it's, all, it's not always bad to shoot bad in an exhibition game because Jordan Warren had a pretty good career at Louisville and now in the NBA as we see Curtis Williams miss a three there after a one for eight night against Kentucky Wesley. And I remember that game and Warren was bad that night. We've got a fan behind us who I think speaks for all of us. I don't know if you can hear the kid crying. 14 minutes to go. Louisville by one over Kentucky Wesleyan. And Drew Cooper starting to sense now that this team's got a chance to get out of here with a W. Trey White, the deflection. Six on the shot clock. Four. That rattles off and White with the rebound for the cards. Tyler Johnson all the way to the basket. I thought he was going to get a shot up, but at the last second he passes it off, and then Trainer the drive and scores. He has come out of that timeout possessed. Yeah, but it's uh, on the offensive end. It's Tyler Johnson. The last couple buckets for Louisville, creating for Louisville. He has sped up the game, and now he's going to get another foul. And See the replay here. The bucket from McIntyre. Third personal foul now on Tyler Johnson. And that was the sixth team foul on the card. So Wesleyan in the bonus now as Trey White and Johnson both head to the Louisville bench. Sky Clark, Curtis Williams, Mike James, JJ Trainer, and Caleb Glenn on the court right now. So I guess the message is if the big men aren't doing anything, don't play them. Because they should be dominating this game and they have not been doing that. And a wide open three for KV Mitchell. He drains it. That's two freshmen. Wh 37. Williams and Glenn just getting caught again as Scott Clark goes to the bucket for a deuce for Louisville to put him back ahead 39 37. Williams and Glenn again have got to do a better job. See a little bit late on that switch there again for those two. McIntyre goes baseline, steps back, hits the jumper. We're going to get a quick timeout. Timeout, Wesleyan. By Kentucky Wesleyan. And with 12.38 to go, we have not settled this one yet. Cards and Panthers all tied up at 39. Jersey Mike's, they freshly grill your hot subs right in front of you. You can't get that smell anywhere else unless you have one of these. Don't mind me. Take the sizzle to go. Okay. Whoops. I'll pay for those. Here you go, Danny. Time to get these smells home. Grill right in front of you. It's a Jersey Mike's thing. A sub above. Ah, that's a good sizzle. With Boost Infinite, get iPhone 15 Pro with titanium and save up to 40% on your monthly bill. Transcend to a wireless utopia and experience America's smart network with unparalleled coverage from three of the nation's top wireless networks. No trade-in needed to get iPhone 15 Pro with titanium on us. Save up to 40% on your monthly bill and enjoy the latest iPhone every year with unlimited wireless. Tied at 39, you see Cardell McFarland, one of the assistants for Drew Cooper on that Kentucky Wesleyan staff. I was at the game in Knights Hall. He scored 47 points by himself to snap Bellerman's home court winning streak in Knights Hall that night. And right now, these two teams have managed to score just 39 in the 
with 12 and a half minutes left here to play. We are one week before opening night of the college basketball season. Both squads with quite a bit to work on. And Jody, the Cards have missed a lot of shots, but that has not, uh, they haven't converted those into second chances, have they? Yeah, I know. Caleb Glenn gets in. He gets a bucket for the freshman from here in Louisville. 23 missed field goal attempts for Louisville and just three offensive rebounds. I think that's probably a good reason why we see Huntley Hatfield and uh, Dennis Evans on the bench right now as uh, Kenny Payne looking for some answers and looking for somebody who's going to do some work inside. Well, we have seen these cards score twice right out of timeouts. Trainer on the last one and Glenn this time. Fernandez goes inside. He misses. And Scott Clark with the rebound cards try to extend this two-point lead. Scott Clark, J.J. Trainer. Caleb Glenn, Curtis Williams yet to score tonight. Mike James over in the corner and Trainer down the lane. And are we going to get a foul on Kentucky Wesley in there? It looks like that's going to be on Rockage. Louisville, a 41 39 lead with 11 45 left. Here we go, 11.45 to play here in the KFC Young Center Louisville with a 41-39 lead on Kentucky Wesleyan. Cards have scored out of the last two timeouts. Borja Fernandez, 12 points to lead the way for the Panthers. Sky Clark, 12 points to lead the way for the Cards. Louisville ball on the baseline, 20 seconds on the shot clock. And Ken, Scott. a wild stat for Louisville too. There's a lot of them in this game, but as uh, Mike James goes to the bucket and he's going to get fouled. He draws the foul. He gets some free throws. Caleb Glenn scored out the last time out. That's just a fourth bench point. Louisville outscored 21 to 4 by Kentucky Wesleyan's bench. Now, with that said, there's a couple guys on Wesleyan's that didn't start tonight that are normal starters, but Louisville has used Tyler Johnson, Brandon Henley Hatfield, Curtis Williams, Jovanovic, and Caleb Glenn off the bench. Just can't get anything going. And Curtis Williams 0 for 3 from the field. All three point attempts tonight after scoring 15 points in their first exhibition. Dennis Evans checks back into the game for the Cards. The 7-1 freshman has played 13 minutes. He does have four points and five rebounds, but he has not attempted a shot from the field. He's been fouled on a couple shot attempts, but no official field goal attempts. James knocks down both free throws, and the Louisville lead is four. You keep waiting for that little surge. Louisville had one early in the first half, or midway through the first half. It was 8-0. You just keep waiting for them to go on a little bit of a run. It just hasn't come yet. I think the foul's on it. It's on James, James on the baseline. Yep. And that'll be the seventh team foul on the card. So Fernandez will go to the line. And from this point on, the Panthers will be in the bonus for the final 11-22 of this one. Borja Fernandez, a 58% free throw shooter last season in 26 games. And that did not look like a 58% free throw shooter. I mean, Fernandez tonight, uh, 13 points now. He's got four rebounds. He does have five turnovers, but he's been the best post player uh, on the floor tonight for either team. Knocks them both down easily, and we're back to a two-point game. So if the Cards can get a look for Evans in the paint. Nothing doing for Scott Clark again. They hey, didn't really give Evans a chance to roll no. off of that. Kind of settling now in, on the offensive end, Sky. Evans back out to McIntyre. He's hit a couple, but he can't hit that one. And I'll tell you what, Alex Gray gets out there and affects the game. He got his hand on that ball, and then he drew a foul. I think, is it? No, it's just out of bounds off, ball. Of, uh, ball? off of it's, Curtis it's Williams. It's Wesleyan ball, though. It's Wesley's, Wesleyan's but ball. But he kept the possession alive for them. Evans now back to the bench. Here comes Trey White. Sky Clark, Mike James, J.J. Trainer, Trey White, and Caleb Glenn in for the cards. Jake Evans thrown in on the baseline for Kentucky Wesley, and they trail by two. Alex Gray to McIntyre. Jake Evans gets the screen from Fernandez. Back to Fernandez. He's got a wide open three, and it hits the front of the rim, but an offensive rebound 
for the Panthers, and they're going to get another shot at this. Fernandez right down the lane. Nobody picks him up, and then Glenn comes over to block it. But we're going to get the goal tend, and they're going to we'll check that. that, that they will, review, they will that. review that at okay. the next media timeout. So they they will count it for now as a goal tend, but it will be reviewed and can be taken off the board. And I think he did get it before it hit the backboard. I didn't think he? I think he did. It's 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 really close, and from that angle, ooh, they can't tell, can't from, tell that from that angle either. It's really close, though. So but remember if, that one. Remember yeah, that. If they uh, if they do say that it's not, I mean, they can take those points off. You can add the points or take the points off. That's a new rule this year in college basketball. Well, they won't add any more points, but they've added. They've already added. I meant on. It's, yeah. <laughs> you know what I meant. They gave the two right there, so we're tied up at 43. Trey White, the turnaround misses, and Fernandez with a rebound for the Panthers, and now they have a chance to take the lead here with under 10 to play. Fernandez has been their best offensive option. McIntyre's had a couple of triples. Evans got it by Clark. Seven on the shot clock right now. Gets the screen for Fernandez. You got to figure he's going back to him. No, Evans all the way to the basket. And he gets the basket and the foul on Sky Clark. And Kentucky Wesleyan leads Louisville with 9.37 to play. And check out the screen from Borja Fernandez. Well, the screen really didn't do much. Not, much. Wasn't much. Not a whole lot of contact. contact on that one, but a foul nonetheless. And Jake Evans, former Louisville Male High star, his free throw rattles out. So he gets the two, though, and Kentucky Wesleyan has the lead. Tyler Johnson in the game for the Cards, along with Mike James, Trey White, JJ Trainer. And Donalo Jovanovic, who we saw just briefly in the first half, and he comes in here it's at a key moment. He came in and got a deflection right away, but that's... Kenny Payne not happy. I think somebody just ran the wrong action. Jovanovic stepped on the sideline over there, taking the pass from Johnson. And Kenny Payne, somebody, he's talking to Tyler about... That play apparently did not run as smoothly as they wanted it to. 45-43, Kentucky Wesleyan with the lead. Louisville shooting 32% from the field in the game. The tense turnover for Louisville there. 6-0 run right now for the Panthers. Jody, you were talking, oh, and Tyler almost takes it away from Evans, but Evans able to regain it. 10 on the shot clock. Evans using his arm to shield. I've been very impressed with Alex Gray and, how, and the effort. He, he, he's not able to control that, but he's just active. He's like their Caleb Glenn. We haven't seen Caleb as much tonight because of the foul trouble, but those two guys just play hard. Yeah, he is very, very active. As uh, Boy, he, he even came down with that rebound and just couldn't. It just went between his hands and between his legs. He thought he had it. Been three minutes since Louisville scored. White the pass to Trainer and the foul. Gray fouls him. He's going to make him hurt it at the line. Trainer was wide open under the basket when he caught it, but Gray with the hard foul. It'll get Trainer two free throws and a chance to tie this game up with 8.20 left. And JD, JJ is two for two from the line so far tonight. He has six points and two rebounds in 18 minutes. That's what I like right there, what we just saw. Uh, Trey White's got two assists tonight. I do like that from him. He is, uh, as trainer, trainer makes the free throw, um, as uh, Trey White likes to give it up. I mean, he will. he's a scorer. He's got that mentality, but he's not going to be selfish. He can really uh, uh, make the pass as well. Big things expected from J.J. Trainer from Barstown High School. Misses the second free throw, and Gray gets the rebound for the Panthers. They have a one-point lead. As we near the eight-minute mark here. Rural, of course, dropped a ten-point decision to Division II Lenore Ryan last season in exhibition play. That was their first exhibition last year. To former card Everett Sullivan and Lenore Ryan. Fernandez in the lane on Trainer and Trainer with another block. Great dives on the floor for it, but he's out of bounds. And it'll be Louisville ball down one. 
When we return to the KFC Yum Center, we have seven minutes and 51 seconds left to settle this one. Remember that goaltending call on Caleb Glenn a few minutes ago? The refs were going to review it during the next TV timeout. They are still reviewing it. They've been doing it the entire TV timeout as we think. see our three officials there. We'll take one more look at it. Borja Fernandez, the drive, and then Caleb Glenn, did he block it? Yes. He, he got it before it hit that. Here's our ruling right here. The call stands. The call stands. The call stands. So. Not sure I agree with it from what I saw, but the call stands. They, they, they looked at it. Here you go. The ball is on or within the basket or backboard. Any part of the ball above the rim or hitting the backboard, but it, well, I don't okay. know. we got a quick replay, but anyways, it counts. Kentucky Wesleyan has a 45 44 lead here, and the cards have the ball. Out of the timeout. A nice cut by trainer on the baseline, Fernandez, with the foul, and it, That'll be the seventh foul on Kentucky Wesley, and so Trainer will get a chance to go to the line here. I think we go back to what we were talking about on that call, not to belabor the point, but they called it a goaltending on the floor. It's almost nearly impossible to overturn that on a play like that when it's so close to the backboard, because you can't really tell. Trainer one and one, and he ties the game at 45 with 7.39 left. J.J. Trainer. See the first two seasons, 30 games. Last season started 15, 815 minutes, made 23 threes last year. Hits both free throws, and Louisville has the lead with seven and a half minutes left to play. The trainer with nine points. The tenth lead change tonight. Tyler Johnson, Mike James, J.J. Trainer, Trey White, and Brandon Huntley Hatfield out there right now for the cards. Fernandez down the lane, gets it up quick because he's afraid Trainer might block it. Huntley Hatfield with the rebound, and the cards with a chance to extend that. That lead. all started with Tyler Johnson getting a back tip and the ball going a little bit ways. Fernandez actually got a good shot, but again, give Tyler some credit. He's not scored tonight, but he has played a pretty solid game for when he has been in there. Cards have been outscored 20 to 18 in the paint so far tonight. You see Huntley Hatfield looking as physical as we've seen him all night, gets some position, but misses the jumper. Trey White, the offensive rebound, back to Trainer for three. Can't get it to go. Just the fourth offensive rebound of the night for Louisville, and they cannot get it to go down. Kennedy Miles loses control, but fortunate because I guess that ball went off of hard to see from here. It must have gone off Tyler Johnson on that side. It'll be Wesley and Ball. 23 seconds on the shot clock. 6.34 to play. They trail by one. Logan McIntyre back into the game for them. By the way, he has hit two threes tonight. the second chance points 10-1 advantage well, it looks like Tyler may have tied him up he, the foul out front is going to send miles to the line for Kentucky Wesley and that'll be the fourth personal on Tyler Johnson with 629 left and the 19 foul on the cards and Kenny Payne telling him stop reaching is uh, he's done a really good job when he has not had not used those hands he just Still a young guy and likes to, to reach and grab, and he's going to come out, Skylar, Sky Clark for Tyler. And Miles will get a second free throw, a 71% free throw shooter last season. Knox in the first. He'll get the second, and with the second, a chance to give Drew Cooper and the Kentucky Wesleyan Panthers a one-point lead on Louisville with 6.29 to play. See if Huntley Hatfield tries to post up again. But I tell you what, Alex Gray at 6'3", number one, is a physical active presence. And he's not going to let you just go in there and post up on you. James with the three. Got it. I thought Clark had a good look. I thought Clark had a good look at a three-pointer. He passed it up and got it to James, who was wide open at the top of the key. Second triple of the night for Mike James. He now has 12 points, tying Sky Clark for high honors on the cards, and they have a two-point lead. 
They try to get a stop here. Fernandez goes into Clark, no call, and then the offensive rebound, the tip in by Edward Jones Jr. And we're tied up again. Did you have a good look at that, Jody? Do you think Clark was gonna get I, the charge? I did not have a good look, but. I think we're gonna get a foul on Miles underneath yeah. as Huntley Hatfield was trying to post him up. The six foot one Miles as we see James three pointer again. He just opened at the top of the key. The, the six foot one uh, Miles caught in a bad switch there against Huntley Hatfield. Brandon Huntley Hatfield is two points tonight on that dunk, on that breakaway dunk earlier in the game in the first half. A chance uh, now at the line. One and a bonus, 5.30 to go, and he misses the free throw, and the Panthers get the rebound. KV on Mitchell, number 21, has two threes tonight. Number 33, Logan McIntyre has two threes tonight from them, for them. Borja Fernandez is their leading scorer with 16 points. Number 32. Jones just had that tip in. Here's Miles, goes by Clark, all the way to the basket, gets it up on the rim, and we're gonna get another foul on the drive on Sky Clark, and Miles, who just hit two free throws, will go back to the line and a chance to give the Panthers the lead. Edward Jones Jr. getting in the Louisville puddle down there. <laughs> Miles with four points. It's his third straight. Free throw, a senior from Burlington, North Carolina. Played at Lawson State Community College before he uh, ended up at Wesleyan. Misses the second free throw, but Alex Gray gets the offensive rebound. Back to Miles for the three, and Kentucky Wesleyan has a four-point lead with under five minutes to play. Look at Alex Gray battling Huntley Hatfield down low. Mike James will try the triple again. He misses. Huntley Hatfield the deflection, but Wesleyan comes up with it, and now they have a chance to extend their lead. I love the fight here from Drew Cooper's team as they just continue to battle. Trey White, the steal all the way to the basket. Underneath the basket, he missed it, and it'll be it'll be Louisville ball because it hit the bottom of the basket. It looked like it, it hit the bottom it, of the basket, I, and then it went. I thought it, ooh. I thought that. Louisville's going to take a timeout here. Timeout cards. Kentucky Wesley leads Louisville 53 to 49. Miss free throw kicks it back out to Kennedy Miles, who hits the triple to give Kentucky Wesleyan a four point lead with 424 left to play here in the KFC. Young Center of the Cards last exhibition loss was exactly one year ago today to Lenore Ryan and Everett Sullivan. That was a 10 point loss. They trail by four right now. Kentucky Wesleyan on a 14 to 6 run over the last seven minutes. and. Their bench has outscored the Louisville bench 31 to four. Miles is feeling it, he misses, but another offensive rebound back to McIntyre in the corner. He misses, Scott Clark the rebound, and McIntyre the foul. Clark will get two free throws for Louisville with 4.06 left to play. Out rebounding Louisville 42, 43 to 29. That was the 14th offensive rebound. They didn't convert on that one, but just killing Louisville on the backboards. Cards dodged the bullet there because McIntyre, who has two triples on the night, got a good look from the corner. Sky Clark to the line. 
So far tonight, he is 0 for 1 from the line, but he makes it 1 for 2 and gets Louisville within 3 with 4.06 to play. Again, the Cards' big men have not exactly affected the game tonight. Dennis Evans got the start. 14 minutes has not attempted a field goal. Does have four points, four free throws. Brandon Huntley Hatfield with two points, two field goal attempts. Clark gets them both, and we have a two-point game. Scott Clark, Mike James, Trey White, J.J. Trainer, and Brandon Huntley Hatfield on the court for the Cards. Can Louisville get a stop here? KV on Mitchell, Edward Jones Jr. Warhoff Hernandez, 10 seconds on the shot clock, and Miles has been going to the basket late in the shot clock. Now he's got four seconds left there. Quick cards double team him. Another three by Edward Jones Jr. at the shot clock buzzer, and he hits another triple. Kevin Mitchell hit one, I think, banked one in the first half of the shot clock buzzer, and that was a huge one with under four minutes to play, and the lead is now five. That is their largest lead of the night. Can the cards answer? Trey White the pull up off the back of the rim. Fernandez the rebound for Kentucky Wesley, and Lowell's gonna have to get some stops. Lowell just 13 of 43. Ten seconds on the shot clock. Huntley Hatfield with some pressure. Miles is going to get all the way to the basket. He kicks it over in the corner, and Mitchell's three comes off. But Fernandez gets the rebound, and I think we're going to get a foul on Huntley Hatfield because he did not box out Fernandez. We're going to call it on Mike James. Here's the buzzer beater here from Jones. Again, shot clock Nobody going picks down. Him up. Fernandez at the line, he gets two. Fernandez now three for three from the line. He has a game high 17 points so far tonight. 2.47 to go, and it's a six point lead for Division II Kentucky Wesleyan. Way short on that one. Cards is four for 17 from three so far tonight, but they may need a couple here in the last couple seconds. That was deflected by Alex Gray. We're gonna get a foul. It looked like he knocked that off of Trey White and out of bounds, yeah. but we're gonna get a foul, and that's a break for Louisville. A foul before he did that. Still two shots for Trey White with 2.34 left. Alex Gray's been the hardest playing guy on the court all night when he's out there. A 10-2 run over the last three minutes for Kentucky Wesley and has given them their largest lead of the night at six points. Trey White, a chance to cut into that for the Cards. He hits the first. Right now with nine points, six yeah, rebounds. Just two of 11. He's had some good shots, too. I mean, he, he's the guy who's going to get in the lane. He's going to do some pull-ups. He's had some open looks, some good looks. Just can't get knocked anything down tonight as he hits two free throws to cut it to 57-53. Card's going to need some stops here. Dennis Evans is back in the game, the 7-1 freshman. McIntyre on the baseline looking for Fernandez, but... McIntyre, Fernandez all by himself, they left him alone. J.J. Trainer, I think it was, just completely lost him. And the Panthers get a wide open layup to extend the lead back to six. Clark to the basket, a foul on Miles. Kenny Payne telling J.J. Trainer, you have to see the ball. And again, I, I don't know where it was. It. He just left yeah, him, he's he just all by himself. Him. Dennis Evans goes to the corner and Trainer just leaves him wide open for an easy bucket. The leading scorer in the game, now with 19 points. Fernandez after that layup, and Sky Clark cuts the lead back to five. The Cards' last field goal in this game came at the 6.04 mark. Two more for Clark, and the Cards back within four. 
little pressure here. Sky Clark now with 15 points and seven rebounds for Louisville. And, and turnover, here comes James. See if the Cards can convert that to points. James all the way to the basket. And we're going to get a foul here. That ball and just kind of went through Mitchell's hands. Yeah, and Mitchell, and again, Kentucky Wesleyan, 14 turnovers on the night for the most part against the Louisville pressure defense. They've done a really good job. That one unforced just right through Mitchell's hands, and James takes it to the bucket, and he gets, draws the foul and hits the first free throw. And maybe most importantly, based on what we've seen in the second half uh, so far, that was the fourth personal foul on Kennedy Miles, who all eight of his points have been scored here in this second half. James hits both free throws, and Louisville is back within two. Plenty of time to play here, 2.01 left. Timeout, Kentucky Wesleyan, they can't get it in. Miles does a good job of taking the timeout. Wesleyan up two with two to go. Jersey Mike's, they slice your sub right in front of you. All that meat and cheese just for me. Watching that takes me to my happy place. Oh, wait. Jersey Mike's is my happy place. Kelly, did I place an order here in my happy place? Not yet, Danny. Then I'm going back to reality. Number seven for Danny. Oh, thanks, reality, Kelly. Sliced right in front of you. It's a Jersey Mike's thing. A sub above. With Boost Infinite, get iPhone 15 Pro with titanium and save up to 40% on your monthly bill. Transcend to a wireless utopia and experience America's smart network with unparalleled coverage from three of the nation's top wireless networks. No trade-in needed to get iPhone 15 Pro with titanium on us. Save up to 40% on your monthly bill and enjoy the latest iPhone every year with unlimited wireless. Division two school in Owensboro, Kentucky, leads Louisville. 59-57, 2.01 left to play here at the KFC Yum Center. Kent Taylor and Jody Demling courtside. And Jody, the cards have, they were down six just a second ago, so they're making you know, some progress. Louisville, Louisville fighting with the group they have out there with Mike James and Sky, and, uh, Sky Clark and Trey White kind of leading the way, leading the charge. Mike James with a good job defensively. Ball slips through Mitchell's hand. He picks it up, drives to the basket. Same thing with Clark, driving to the basket, getting free throws. Louisville has not had a field goal in the last 409. One of their last eight from the field, yet they've cut this lead to 59-57. As Drew Cooper, you see there from Kentucky Wesleyan on the left, his team doing a really good job to this point handling this situation. And he said he wanted to see if they could get it to be a game late, how they handle the situation. And so far, it's been so good for Wesleyan. Both teams in the double bonus, the possession arrow favoring Kentucky Wesleyan. The Panthers do just have one timeout remaining, by the way. And Kennedy Miles, who scored eight points in the second half here, has four fouls. Number two with the ball right here. Guarded by Sky Clark. McIntyre in the baseline to Mitchell, and another three for Kavion Mitchell, and the lead is back to five. And again, just left open. Too many times, guys, Louisville's got guys flying out there. And he, just too many times. Mike James flying on that one. Trainer before just left open in the corner. And Mike James holding his left knee as he's laying up against the basket stanchion. And that's not a great sign either. See if he's okay. He, I don't know if he just bumped knees or came down here. I don't know, but he's... He did get fouled. He'll get a chance to shoot two free throws. Mike James with 14 points, 8 of 8 from the line so far tonight. And right now the lead is 5 for Kentucky Wesleyan as Louisville's trying to avoid back-to-back -back October 30th losses to Division II teams here in the KFC Yum Center. He just knocked his knee. He appears to be all right, although he looks a little gimpy on that left knee. Eight Again, James, eight for eight from the line, 14 points. <laughs> We're going right. to get Curtis Williams in for him, I think, right here at the, uh, if he makes this free throw. Nine for nine from the line. I think he just, he looked like, 
I don't know if that just tore or not. His, his tight. So we just got Caleb Glenn, by the way, just checked in for Dennis Evans. James knocks down the second free throw. 10 for 10 from the line for Mike James. 16 points, tying Sky Clark for high honors. And Curtis Williams checks in for him. He's still holding that left knee as he heads over there a little bit. 124 to play, three-point game. Six rebounds and four steals for James. So he has had the best effort for Louisville tonight. Must get a stop here right now, Louisville. Switching everything like they have been, but they can't leave anybody open. This is three trips, three of the last four trips. Louisville's left someone wide open twice. It's been at the three-point line. Ten on the shot clock. Kennedy Miles about to get a high screen from Borja Fernandez. Clark switches. Miles with the questionable deep three and an offensive rebound. And Jake Evans, the former male high star, right now with. 11 seconds on the shot clock, 10 seconds. He goes right by Trey White all the way to the basket, and we're going to get a foul, a jump ball. Jump ball, possession arrow, though, to Kentucky Wesleyan again. Possession arrow to Kentucky Wesleyan. McIntyre back in. Six seconds on the shot clock, 42 in the game. Kentucky Wesley in a three-point lead, the lob. And in the paint, Edward Jones Jr. with a nice catch, gathers himself and scores. It's a five-point game, Louisville needs to do something fast. Sky Clark gets all the way to the basket, he scores and gets fouled. Jones with the... Yeah, Jones has made such a good impact on this game. He's had a big impact on this game on both ends of the floor. You see 10 points, eight rebounds, and boy, oh boy, he makes a mistake right there as uh, you see Clark getting the bucket and getting fouled. 18 points for Sky Clark tonight. He's four for five from the line. And if he can get to 19, he'll get Louisville within two with 29.6 seconds left. He does just that. Card still with two timeouts. Kentucky Wesleyan just one timeout. Both teams in the double bonus. And the possession arrow now favors Louisville as Louisville has hit 11 straight free throws. And the cards go with the quick foul. Caleb Glenn fouls Jake Evans. Evans, by the way, is 0 for 2 from the line tonight. Transferred from Northern Kentucky, where he played three years, 62 games at NKU. And boy, he's got an opportunity to give his team to extend the lead here and make it a two possession game with a couple of free throws. Comley knocks down the first to extend that lead to three. A 62% free throw shooter at Northern Kentucky. And as I said, it was 0 for 2 tonight before that one. Okay. Louisville using one of their two timeouts remaining with 28.6 seconds left. They trail by three, and Evans will have one more free throw and a chance to extend this Panthers lead. As we said, we are one week from the actual season opener for this Louisville basketball team. Their first three games all here in the KFC Yum Center against UMBC, the giant killers who knocked off Virginia in the NCAA tournament a couple years ago, then Chattanooga on Friday, November 10th, and then back here to take on Coppin State before Jody heading to that Empire Classic in New York where we figured that would be their best chance to, to maybe take their first loss of the season. We'll find out how good they are when they face some top 25 competition. Yeah, Texas on the first day there on November 19th, and then you see Indiana or UConn, depending on who wins and loses there on the second day. Really good opportunity for them, but uh, you know what? This team right now, no matter what happens in this last 29 seconds and 28.6 seconds, this team is a long way from thinking about anything to do with Texas. This team has got a lot of work to do in the next week between now and the UMBC game on next Monday night. There's just too many mistakes, too many small little things that have added up to a colossal poor performance here tonight for Louisville. Evans misses the second free throw. Cards can tie it with a three. 20 seconds left. 
Clark's triple is off. Offensive rebound by Trey White. He's fouled by Fernandez, so he'll go to the line for two free throws with 16.1 seconds left and a chance to get Louisville closer. Louisville going for the three, knowing you got to crash the board and try to get a good opportunity. That's just the fifth offensive rebound of the night for Louisville, so a big one there for Trey White. White six for seven from the line so far, and that make it seven for eight. He has 11 points and seven rebounds. 16.1 seconds left. The possession arrow favors Louisville and each team with just one timeout remaining. We're going to get Tyler Johnson in, so Louisville's going to slow play down a little as long as well. he misses the free throw. A foul on White, and that's going to send KV on Mitchell to the line. Mitchell has not attempted a free throw tonight, but he has hit three monster three-pointers for the Panthers. And the 6'3 senior from Irvington, Kentucky in Breckenridge County High School has a chance to increase this Kentucky Wesleyan lead. Johnson in for Caleb Glenn. So the cards with Sky Clark, Tyler Johnson, Curtis Williams, Trey White, and J.J. Trainer. And Mitchell with a monster free throw here with 15 seconds to go to make it a two-possession game, and he got it. A four-point lead for Kentucky Wesleyan. And the Panthers will use their final timeout here with 15 seconds left, leading by four. Kentucky Wesleyan upcoming here for the uh, Panthers as you see they've got an exhibition next week at Western Kentucky and then they open the season in literally Springfield Indianapolis miles and they play Simmons College on November 18th for the Panthers so again this is uh, a, a great showing for Drew Cooper hometown boy coming back home here and uh, he, he wanted to see what his team could do as you see that schedule uh, I think I think Wesleyan's gonna I don't know in the once they get into league competition uh, it, it all depends on a few guys on how they improve, but this is a team that uh, that's going to win a lot of games this year at the Division II level. And I tell you what, Alex Gray is going to play some minutes for him. That young man has four points, eight rebounds in 22 minutes, and has played some physical defense on Louisville. You see him right there, number one. The cards down four, 15 seconds to go here. Do you go for the quick two here, Jody? I go for the quick two here and see what you can do. Get it to get it to Johnson or uh, Clark and get it and go. Johnson to Clark. Clark's going to get all the way to the basket. He scores and the cards are down to 9.3 seconds left to play. Kentucky Wesleyan does not have a timeout. So Mitchell to Fernandez to Miles and the foul on J.J. Trainer with 6.9 seconds left. Kennedy Miles is going to go to the line. Miles so far tonight, three for four from the line. He has eight points all in the second half. And the one free throw he did miss, Gray got the rebound and kicked it out to him for a three. 67-65, Kentucky Wesleyan leads Louisville. Miles hits the first free throw and it's back to a three-point game. Louisville does have one timeout remaining and the possession arrow. Miles hits the second free throw. It's a four point game. Sky Clark pulls up for the three. It is good and Louisville's within one with 1.3 seconds remaining in this one. Maybe just a little too little, a little too late as Sky Clark now with 21 points and seven rebounds for the Cards. Jody, we touched on it briefly, but that Empire Classic, uh, Louisville will face Texas first. They lead the series 4-1, but they haven't played them since 1997 in the, in the NCAA tournament. Yeah, and, and, and you see the other two teams, UConn, we know what they did last year. Indiana, I'm looking forward to watching the Hoosiers and see what they can do. This is a good, really good tournament. It's going to be two good tests no matter who will place Texas first, no matter who they play in that second game. Two very good tests for this Louisville team. And Kent, we should say, look, this is exhibition season. We said this one year ago today, Louisville lost to Lenore Ryan. For Kenny Payne, he's got a week 
to get, uh, he's got a week to get going. He's got a week to get this team and correct some of these errors that they've seen tonight. This is the first time that this whole team, the best guys have played together. Looking back, maybe you should have played them together against Simmons last week. They look good in the second half in spurts. It's just too many mistakes again. You've got a week to correct those mistakes and get going for the regular season. Now, what are we going to see here? A quick foul from Louisville and then some more free throws for Kentucky Weston and then Louisville and somehow we'll have to go the length of the court. Um, I think you got to try to get a steal first. Louisville almost got a steal the last inbounds play. Remember Kentucky Wesleyan with no timeouts left. So you've got to come up, force the action, try to get a steal and a quick bucket. If not, yeah, you're going to get, try to get a foul, but it's 1.3 seconds. Not a whole lot can happen in that. Scott Clark, Tyler Johnson, Curtis Williams, Trey White, and J.J. Trainer, Kennedy Miles, KV on Mitchell. Miles throws it long, and that may do it. We're going to get a quick foul, so we get with well, the clock still running for some reason. It never did stop. Uh, that had to be some time off the clock. Mitchell appears to be injured. Foul number 22, Trey White. So Trey White fouls out. We'll see how much time they put on the clock. They'll, they'll go look at this, obviously. Right now it says one second, but... The officials it's, will. I think it's it probably going to be really close to one second. KV okay, Mitchell will have two free throws. He just hit two a second ago. Is only two of the night. He has 11 points on the night. As we take a look at the replay, the clock's not going to start until. The problem is the foul occurred before the. The foul occurred before the ball was touched. So it'll be interesting to see. Because it wasn't intentional. They just kind of ran. Trey White kind of ran into him as Mitchell was looking back for the ball. They kind of collided. But I do think I thought the whistle in live action. I thought the whistle blew before. But I bet they do 1.1 is what I'm guessing. Yep, 1.1 is what they're going to do. At 1.1 left to play as we look at the replay one more time. And kind of a dangerous play, though, because if he does touch it, it goes out of bounds. It'll be Louisville ball down here under the basket. Down one, but Mitchell will get the two free throws. It's kind of the trip by Trey White. White again fouled out. So Caleb Glenn in the game for the cards. Scott Clark, Curtis Williams, Caleb Glenn, J.J. Trainer, and Tyler Johnson. Louisville does not have a timeout. So if Mitchell does miss the second free throw, he'll have two. But if he misses the second, we will have to go immediately. But based on what we've seen from Mitchell on those first three free throws, I'm not sure I'd count on it. He's knocked him. He's three for three. I think he's. Do you uh, miss the free throw I, intentionally? Because it's harder to get. The, I mean, it's going to be a length of the court shot at yeah. that point, and does it give him a chance to throw it in? He goes way up in the air, and I think he tried to. He miss tried it, to miss it, but he made it, and it's a three-point game. Sky Clark from three-quarter court, and it's off the backboard and a miss. And Kentucky Wesleyan has come into the KFC Young Center, and the Division II Panthers have knocked off Louisville 71 to 68, the final. Yeah, a lot of a lot of things to work on for Louisville. A huge congrats to uh, to uh, to Coach and his team there for Dr Coach Drew Cooper and his team from Kentucky Wesleyan as they just came in and they took it to Louisville in the second half. For the second straight season, Kenny Penny and the Cards drop an exhibition game to a Division II school. The final score, Kentucky Wesleyan over Louisville, 71 to 68. For Jody Demling, I'm Kent Taylor. Good night from the KFC Yum Center.